<clears throat> this is Stacia, and I'm about to do my second um, recording of me playing live chess. Again, this will be 1510 standard. This is my favorite time control for online chess. Um, and I just played one game, and it went fairly well. Okay, and here we go. We have an opponent um, from where? Australia. All right, so one thing I have to remember, especially um, since I'm commentating, is to almost play like a blitz game. Like, I want to treat these games as blitz games, except I can um, have time to calculate when um, in critical moments. Yeah, this looks wrong, really wrong. Um, so I'm out of book already, but I think I've seen this before. Pawn takes, if pawn takes, then what? I think that his pawns are just really weak. So I'm not sure what this is all about. There is a check, so I have to be a little careful. There's a couple checks. So is this some kind of weird trap? That's what I'm wondering. So if takes bishop check, I think I'll just play here. I'm not really scared of that. If takes, probably queen takes is good. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take this pawn. Um, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on this. This just looks correct. And now, um... I don't want to take with a queen because of knight c6, winning a tempo. So um, I think I'll play knight f3. Again, I'm just looking at the checks to make sure, but this looks totally fine. I have bishop d2, so he does that. I kind of am tempted to take now because if knight takes, queen takes, and my queen's good now because there won't be any knight c6. Um, can he attack my queen? I don't think so. Not easily. So, all right, I'm going to have a centralized queen if he takes. What about check? No, I think I'm fine. I even have this defended by the knight. And after this, I'll have knight c3. So I think this is correct. I'm going to go ahead with this idea. I honestly think that my opponent's playing pretty badly. Um in the opening. I mean, this is not something you want. And, um, okay, I think I just develop now. A6, I mean, what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. These are weird moves. Um, I might play knight c3 now. If, if bishop here, I'll go bishop g7. Another move is just just develop my king side. Maybe I could do that. What's wrong with bishop c4? You know, without e6 being played, that f7 square is a bit vulnerable. All right, I like this. Now he can chase me away if he wants, but I also have this maneuver because I don't have a pawn on c2. So I'm pretty happy with this. Down on the clock already, but I think it was smart to spend a little bit of time in the opening. Okay, I'm tempted to just pin the knight. He is attacking my e-pawn. I could also play knight c3. Totally fine. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go knight c3. Because if I pin, he could just play here. Um... Okay, knight c3. Let's develop because I want to use the bulk of my time calculating later. Let's look for candidate moves. Um, so I'm noticing now that this bishop can't move. That's good for me. Bishop b7 anyway. Wow, uh, that's really passive. I pretty much want to castle now. I think he's going to castle too. 
And then um, I don't think I have any, I don't think any of this stuff is working. It's totally unnecessary. So I don't think I'll do that. And also I don't want to take here. I mean, that'll just repair his structure or maybe help his bishop, but you know, both, both ways are unnecessary. All right, I think um, I do need to be a little careful. My bishop is undefended on c4 for now. I kind of want to play queen e2, but I'll castle first. So if he castles, maybe queen e2 next. And again, the rook's going to come here. Let's see. Um, more natural is just rook e1. I could also just get my bishop out. Kind of like bishop f4 so that e5 is supported. That's an idea. I'm not even sure I want to play e5. I don't want to help black trade off this pawn. Knight d5 is an idea. It's definitely going to play rook e8. So why don't I just play this? This looks totally fine. All right. Now I need to be careful because... Um, just because my opponent didn't play the opening well doesn't mean that he won't um, step up his game now. Yeah, and queen c7, that x-rays my bishop, which is undefended. So I guess he's threatening. Um, well, knight takes, queen takes. That would actually guard my bishop. So he's not threatening that. Um, wow. Are there other discoveries though? He could play this. Knight e5. So probably I just need to defend my bishop. Queen e2 is a thought. Um, I just feel like my queen could go somewhere else. I don't know. I think if I play queen b3, he has knight a5. Yeah, I, I think I need to move the bishop because it will be attacked twice. Now I could just play, um, hmm. I could play bishop d5. That's interesting. Um, the point is that I wouldn't usually play this, but there's no pawns to kick it away. Maybe I play this first. Knight takes, probably knight takes, bishop takes. But what else could he do? Knight here. I don't think he's taking here because I take his queen. So I like this move. I'm also threatening to take the bishops. And if he takes here and I take here, my bishop's safe. And I've opened the file towards his queen. So after I play bishop somewhere, maybe. I'm not sure where this guy goes. I won't be able to play here or f4. So I might even do something like b3. Seems slow, but I think given my long-term advantage um, with this weak pawn, yeah, because we have even pawns. We both have six pawns. Checks and captures. Take. I will take. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to play. I might just play safe next. I think so, actually. So it looks like he wants to take my knight, maybe. Okay, fine. Um, if I move this away, my pawn's hanging. But... 
he will be defended twice. I'm going to play rook c1. That's a tempo move. Where is that queen going to go? I don't know, but this, this seems totally um, reasonable. I also want to note that the f7 pawn is pinned. So this square is only defended by the h pawn. Not sure if that means anything yet. If he does not take, then knight f5 looks like a nice square for my knight. If he plays g6, I think I just come back and say, hey, you've got a worse structure. I don't know, though. Bishop can come back. Um, Interesting game so far. Yeah, I definitely want to play rook, C, rook A to C1 next. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting move. I actually missed that. I miss that, but I don't think I'm ready to part with my bishop. I really don't. So I think that... Hmm. So, clever move. I think bishop b3 is good, though. That will help guard here. Um, bishop b3... I think rook c1 doesn't work right now. Rook a c1, he can play. Knight takes bishop. Rook takes queen. Knight takes queen. Or knight takes rook, I mean. That still wins a point of material. I think I'm going to do this. Where is he going? He might be invading on c7 because he can take the knight. So. I like knight f5 more now, though, because I can jump in here, supported by the queen. I'd really like to centralize my queen, so if he plays this, I think I'll take this way. And there, there is no knight c7, I will take, because knight c7 would be a fork, a family fork, I guess. I don't know, is it a family fork if the king's not involved? I don't think so. I think the king should be involved. <laughs> He's like the head of the family, right? Okay, I should uh, look at my clock. Okay, so even though my position's still good, I think it's a good position. Um, I have seven minutes, so I need to be mindful of that. I kind of like knight f5 followed by... Bishop d4 too. I just want to trade this piece off. That's a good piece. It's x-raying my pawn. I definitely want to play rook ac1 next though. I do think I want to play f3 also. I think that would just be a nice solid structure. I have a dark square bishop guarding. So, okay, this move indicates he wants to bring his bishop out. So I will play f3. But for now, rook ac1 is a move. Let's try and figure out where the queen is going. If queen here, I think knight f5 is good. Actually, knight anywhere is good. 
Actually, this one's material, knight e6. If queen a5, I think the queen's off sides. If here, the bishop can't occupy there. If here, again, knight e6. If Okay, what about queen e5? If queen e5, I might even play a4. All right, well, I think this is correct. Um, the queen will have to monitor the c7 square. I was calling this c7 earlier, wasn't I? <laughs> I always do that, c2. All right. I'm going to play this. I have six minutes, so I kind of want to trade pieces, but I think that, you know, um, that's just me starting to panic. I don't want this to be complicated. Now what? What are my candidate moves? I do have this check. Doesn't do anything yet. Hmm. If rookie eight, I mean, I could just play f3 and be solid. I could do that because this is coming next. F3, bishop b7. I hinder this move somehow like when the bishop moves away this pawn will only be defended by the queen that's kind of cool wow you know what how about knight f5 bishop b7 knight d6 you know what else though if knight f5, bishop takes. All right, now I want to play this. This will attack the knight and defend the pawn. Okay, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Will he play a5? That would be interesting to see if he does. He has to guard the knight or something. Queen e7, possible. Um, if a5, you know, I could play. Yeah, okay, he moves it away. Now. Don't want to take the knight. It's attacked twice. That's okay. This is no longer hanging, so I have knight f5. It just seems like stationing my knight here is a good idea. Okay, I'm running low on time. Yeah, I'm going to go knight f5. If bishop b7, knight d6 attacking the bishop. I just might take it, I'm not sure. Probably will. Then again, how good is that bishop? The thing is, though, I have dreams of playing queen d5 at the right moment. Okay, I think I might take this. And this is a good square for my knight regardless, so. I think maybe I just do that. Okay. Okay, so knight takes, rook takes. Bishop d5. What about queen d5 right now? If he tries to do a discovery, oh, actually it might, might work out for him still. We have a knight here. 
And even if I take, he takes my queen. All right. You know what though? I like having the queen on d5 because she's she's a beast there. I think positionally, it's just really good. Um, the knight will have tempos on me. That's the only downside. But the knight is pinned, so. Now I have this idea. Can't play it yet. Okay, that seems reasonable. Now what? F4, E5, and the bishop will be relegated to E7. Well, I think I should put pressure on this pawn. It's time to just play simple chess. Maybe A4 is an idea. If this, though, then what? Can't take it yet. Oh, hold up. <laughs> I have bishop c6. Okay, bishop c6. There's tempos on the queen, though, so... Um, bishop c6. If knight here... Yeah, I gotta be careful. I don't know. The rook's pinned. That's the good news. I have two minutes. Bishop c6, knight e7. Do I move the queen? If I take the rook, he takes my queen. I take his queen. Okay. I think the other line with knight b4 will be similar. the Shua material. Now bear with me. I might not comment as much. I want to, um, I'd really like to take a win. I want to get over 1600 for starters, which I have been before, and then I want to get to 1700. So winning is important to me in this game. All right. Um, what can he do? I mean, this seems like a try, but Bishop takes. Wow, he resigned. He resigned. Well, that's anticlimactic. Okay, for anyone learning, <laughs> if your opponent has two minutes left, even in a lost position, don't resign. Okay, I have I can screw this up, believe me. Like, I'm just thinking, like, if knight here... Yeah, maybe his position's worse than I think, though, huh? I don't know. Because of this. But even here, I think he should fight on. Because why not? I have two minutes left. If I screw up and drop a rook, then we're, like, practically even. Or we are even. So, um... There's that. But, okay, um... I'm going to say good game to him. And let's go ahead and have a look at it. So I'll start by analyzing without the engine and just find things that I want to look at. So, yeah, um, I don't think e5 is a real move. I think this is a mistake right out of the opening. So after takes, the checks aren't any good. They don't really do anything. And black has already damaged their pawn structure. So I don't see the point of that. Knight f3 I think is precise. Because if you take with your queen, 
Then knight c6 and you lose the tempo, so don't do that. I like bishop c4. Um, he's a little bit vulnerable here, but it it's okay. Yeah, here. Um, in hindsight, I don't really like rook e1. I think the correct structure here is to play f3, king h1, bishop e3, and maybe even bishop f2, like that kind of setup. And the rook probably belongs on d1 attacking the pawn. So we'll see what the computer says about that. He took here. Yeah, I'm curious if the computer will like the bishop here. All right, I'm ready to turn the engine on. Um, in fact, let's do one of those um, reports that chess.com chess does. I really like those, by the way. I think they're really great. Um, okay, so I had 90.2% accuracy, and my opponent had 83.1%. Yeah, so I don't think 90 is such a great score. Probably, I really like to shoot for a 95 or more. The graph looks nice, though. Now, I am surprised... Oh, this is probably just because the computer hates um, the Smith Moore Gambit. But yeah, you can see that I never was in trouble. Hmm, there is a point where I kind of lose the thread for a minute. So we'll have a look at that. So I had two mistakes and one inaccuracy. My opponent had two mistakes and four inaccuracies. Okay. What can we learn from this game? It is a book move. Okay, let's look at this. <laughs> I'm just shocked. Okay. E5. That's not a, a real book move. It can't be. I guess it's called the center formation. It's called the center formation. Wow. There's some kind of trick here I wasn't aware of. C takes D4. It looks like black usually does well here. So let's have a look. Um, computer still likes this move. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Why does black usually win this? So this follows the game. So this is actually a line. I mean, these are, this is 70 master games in this exact line. So, wow, I was wrong about that. So that's the first thing I learned is this is an actual thing, the center formation. Um, let me say that I'm unimpressed with it, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just unimpressed with it. So A6, his first move out of book. Yeah, it just seems too slow. I'm not even sure what it does. I mean, is he stopping knight b5? I wasn't going to play knight b5. You know what, though? Maybe I was. No, he could play d6. Or... Yeah, I don't know. I think a6 is totally unnecessary. Bishop c4, knight f6 here. Castles, excellent move, it says. <laughs> um, yeah, I was considering this move, too. You know what, and I kind of like bishop f4 because it stops um, queen e7, queen c7. But then again, do I want to stop queen c7? I think the queen's a little vulnerable there because the rook may come to a or to the c1 square. Okay, so I guess I was wrong about e, rook e1. This move is totally fine. This does allow me to play knight d5 next, you know, because it defends the pawn. So... Yeah, that's cool. Computer gives knight f5 right now. Interesting. My battery's low, so hang on one second. I'm going to plug in my computer. It's right over here. Okay. I have some ginger tea left over here.
Yeah, bishop d5. Didn't I talk about bishop d5? So I was right about that. Queen c7, inaccurate. Yeah, so he was, he is supposed to play here. This is a good move. What would I have done against that? Hmm. Tax my knight a second time. I must defend it. I'd probably go here. I don't see what's wrong with that. And then knight e5. Yeah. Attacking the bishop. So this is a better continuation. I would play bishop e3. Yeah, this is still good for white, though. Very good for white. So after queen c7, I played knight d5. Inaccurate. Yeah, what else do I consider here? I consider bishop d5. Knight f5 is the best. Knight f5. Yeah, and I see why. I mean, this is just a good idea. <laughs> now, I was scared of discoveries, right? So if knight f5, oh, it's pinning down the bishop. Now if he tries any crazy discoveries, I take here. Wow, okay. Yeah, so knight f5 is good. It actually, like, um... It defends the bishop by pinning the knight. Pretty interesting. Or not pinning, but tying down the knight to the bishop. I mean, you'd think he could play something like this. And then I could play knight d5 now, it says. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Because if here, prize to take, and then I probably play bishop takes. No, e takes is strong now. Oh, notice I'm attacking the knight, and then it will move away from the bishop. This should be winning. Wow, okay, this is very interesting stuff. So I didn't see all those lines with knight f5, not at all. So um, the key is to notice that this knight is defending, is the only thing defending the e7 bishop. I think once you see that, knight f5 looks natural. Okay, but this is, you know, white's better. He took... I took bishop f6. It says he should take the queen, or take the knight. Yeah, I don't know about that. He could play bishop f f6 now. He wants to play d6. Well, I guess the good thing about taking is that the knight can't come to f5 anymore. So I think that's the point. Okay, that was the best move. Knight end. Yeah, I like this move by Black. So this was probably my most testing moment of the game. Because I missed this move. Computer also likes d6. Yeah, bishop b3. Was that the only move? I kind of thought it was. Um, I can play rook c1. Yeah, I, I didn't like this line. Let's see. Is this really good for me still? Com computer says, yeah, absolutely. Still really good for me. So, yeah, and I'd have to agree. I mean, black has a lot of pieces, but I do have a queen. I'm up one point of material in this line. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so right here, um, so rook c1 is best going into that. Hmm. Bishop b3 is also good, and knight f5 is good. Now knight f5 surprises me. Knight f5, okay, what was I worried about here? I thought if knight f5, well, first of all, he can take my bishop if he wants. Oh, funny, he's calling this inaccurate. Okay. I'm satisfied with that because I thought it was inaccurate too. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, now b5. So he desperately wants to get his bishop in the game. I think that's why the computer keeps wanting to play this, just to get this bishop in the game somehow. It'll probably come to this square. Um, Rook c1 attacking the queen. Queen d8 was best. Huh. I actually thought the queen might come here. Maybe that's... That does allow for things like f4 and f5, though. So if I play knight f5, I can offer him the pawn. Why? Because now I take. Wow. Let's check out this line. So if rook takes, I'm thinking knight d6 with a fork. Or do we have even better? Bishop c5, it says. Bishop c5. Discovery on the queen. Attacking the knight. The queen has trouble defending that knight, I think. So if here, then what? Or why can't the queen just take? Oh, if queen takes, we have checkmate. <laughs> no, we don't. That's... That is the best move, though, so let's see. Like, I'm thinking this. Oh, we do have checkmate, the bishop. Wow, very curious. Okay. Yeah, so um, I really hope that I can learn to see more lines like this in the future. I really think, um, although I see, like, even uh, IMs and GMs online miss computer lines, so I can't feel that bad. Okay, queen d2. Yeah, I decided to just play simple, attack the knight. He retreated the knight. A5. Yeah, I thought if A5, I was thinking about playing this. Is that so bad? Wow, it wants to play A4. Hmm. Yeah, I can take, though. It does open up the rook, so I see why um, the computer likes this. Still good for black, though. So it's at this point that I played knight f5 after knight c6. Hmm. So I didn't see this tempo move, bishop c5, but I really, really like it. Um... There is no d6 because we take it, and if the rook moves away, f7 is getting loose, you know? So the bishop's guarding. Yeah, so I'm thinking if here, rook here, and now knight d6, right? Yeah, knight d6, crushing. This is crushing. Um, I'm attacking the bishop and f7, so I don't think black survives this. Wow, so um, that's really cool. So this bishop move is what I would call a preparatory move. It makes knight d6 even stronger So um, because you're diverting the rook. Man, I really like that. So this tempo move is something to look at for sure, and I miss that. But still, um, I think I was pretty comfortable. I don't know how much time I had left. Oh, four minutes. Yeah, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So here he played rook b8. I took the bishop. Wow, it doesn't even like that. You know, I understand why. This this knight is amazing, okay? And the rook can't go to e8 because of this knight. So I probably shouldn't have took it. I was thinking about playing f3. I wonder what the computer would say about that. Yeah, I don't think it hates it. doesn't hate it. It's thinking. Looks like uh, white is still plus two. So inaccurate, but you know, I mean, this is just a safe move. It's hard to call it inaccurate. All right. 
but I played this. Rook takes. Wow, queen d5 was a mistake. Hmm. So the problem is we lose a pawn. Wow, I don't know. That doesn't even look like a safe pawn to grab, if you ask me. Well, maybe the queen's coming out. That's the thing. Rook C to D1, it says. So I could go here and just pile up on the pawn. I like that idea. And now Bishop E5. Okay, I still like white a lot. I don't think this pawn means anything. <laughs> I really don't. So, okay. Oh, but after here, this is the problem. So I have threats here, right? Because um, this also ties the rook down because he can't allow um, check here. I think that would be too much. Um, but this is just a blunder. So he should take on b2 and live another day or play queen b8. He didn't like that his knight was pinned. But as the game went, let's see if uh, bishop b6 wins. It does. So this was the best move. And I determined that knight e7 doesn't work. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, if knight e7, I can just take. He takes my queen, I take his queen. And even after um, computer wants to throw that in, that's kind of interesting. Bishop c3, it says. <laughs> really, that's definitely not a human move. That's clever, though, isn't it? Because the knight's guarding. I think I'd go here. Oh, now I can take here. Well, this is still going to be winning, though. Extra bishop. I like extra bishops. Yeah, so um, that concludes the game. And now I just want to um, do the final step, which is to look at the highlights and determine what exactly did I learn from this game. So the first thing I learned is that this is a real line. This is called the center formation. And this is somehow a real line. So I will take a closer look at this line. I might even um, do an opening video on it because I am pretty fascinated that black could play this way. It doesn't seem like he should be able to. Um, I think the critical moment for me, I actually like the way I played all this. Um, so one idea I missed is how strong knight f5 is because of knight d6 um, and how it ties the knight down to the bishop. So that's one idea I missed. I think I could, um, I think I just need to learn to look at like what is defending what. Take Take time and say, hey, the only thing defending this bishop is the knight. So in other words, look for undefended pieces and for things that are guarded loosely because you can find good moves that way. Yeah, I liked my play here. I found bishop b3. Yeah, and the, the next thing I want to comment on is this move. So I really think that, you know, knight d6 is a good positional move. But bishop c5 is a tempo move. It's forcing, forcing the rook away. Knight d6 is suddenly a huge threat. It attacks the rook, it attacks f7, and it attacks the bishop. So this would have won the game on the spot just by playing uh, bishop c5. So definitely the critical move of the game. I had four minutes on my clock, so you would think I should be able to at least find some tempo moves. 
Um, but that being said, it turned out okay. Um, my opponent blundered and I got bishop b6 and he resigned. So, um, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this game with me and enjoyed the format. Um, still kind of trying this out, learning how to be entertaining during these games. Um, but I am happy I got a win, so that's good. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.